consciousness. Hit it. What? Why? Oh, okay, go, cool. Go, 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 go. Um, now I'm going to be nice to Moxness. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's AWOL here, and I'm joined by... Moxness. Hey, and everyone. Hey. And we're playing Star Wars Battlefront 2, and in this one, we are doing all specialist all day. Namely, just for the next hour and a half. Yeah. But we've been streaming the crap out of this game today. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I'm special <laughs> is the tagline of the specialist. And we're going to use the kind of default build here on the specialist. It's basically the closest thing you can get to a sniper in this game. Um, it's not pure sniper necessarily, but it's pretty darn close to sniper. Yeah. And in this kit, got the shock grenade on our left card, which is going to shock everybody and temporarily slow them down. Top card, go behind enemy lines, becoming... You are not detectable in enemy scanners. I've been killed by this all day. And you get a medium ranged weapon to use while you're going in, so you're not only a short range uh, hero and, or a trooper. And then your right card is thermal binoculars. Bust those out, you scan the area, and it'll reveal enemy body heat. And then once you do that, you shoot them with your gun. Uh, so there you go. That's the basic gist of the specialist. And this is our weapon we're using. We don't have enough, we don't have 600 of this currency. Like, we have to grind for days to get enough just to craft one. Yeah. So we're just going to use the default one. Uh, this is a... Yay! Default weapons! Yay! It's low um, rate of fire, but it is high damage per hit, and the cooldown's pretty deep. So we're going to go with it. So we're going to go straight into Strike, which is the new map here in the beta um, on Takodana to test this one out see what we think of specialist oxness what do you think so far do you think this game is going to live up to the unbelievably high expectations everybody has for it based on what you've seen today i i don't know yet i i need to see more of the game i think that's part of the expectation with this game right. is that there was there wasn't enough in the previous one right like that was the thing is People just wanted more. They wanted the space battles. They wanted uh, just more in-depth gameplay, having a story campaign, right? And so there's a lot of things that we don't, uh, we haven't even looked at yet. Space right. battles, but like when's the story campaign even arriving? Not until launch, right? Not until launch. We so, have one story mission you can try in beta. Just probably got all, all right. the best cinematics in it. Um, <laughs> I'm just being yeah. extra skeptical, but it's probably true. And then, and then you'll get to play the actual story later. I think the story is going to be solid, but you're going to get like, you know, I don't know, maximum 20 hours out of it, max. Yeah. So cool, that'll be that'll be awesome. And maybe that in and of itself will be worth the price tag for the game. Um, but we'll see. So there we go. I just sniped people. I threw this disruption thing, which uh, disables people. I'm doing. I'm no scoping him, which is a terrible idea, and I should not do that anymore. Uh, but there you go. So in that scenario, I should have used my infiltrate ability for my mid-range attack rather than trying to snipe him no scopes. Are there going to be other skins for each class that you can equip? Presumably, yes, but they're not okay. going to be backy skins. No, um, but just like other other people or other stuff like that? I think that it'll be like you get a different color. Okay. What? He must have been shot at the exact same moment by somebody else. <laughs> I didn't get credit for that kill. Oh god. Oh god. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna throw this disruption. Um, and let's see. This is actually not the time to use the range weapon. We're gonna go ahead and go into sniping mode after I scan everybody. See, look at this. The infrared, or the uh, scanning there is amazing. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna get some headshots here. We're completely miss everyone. Two body shots, shot him in the back. Good. If I can get him. Go. Hi. And two body shots, he survived. And I probably should have switched to infiltration. Also, my um, positioning was very poor. Very, very poor. That scenario. I should go up to the high ground, maybe. Yeah. Which is like where probably. special should be, not standing next to can the you door. Get, can you get on the building? I have no idea how people got up to that building. I don't have a freaking grappling hook, guys. What do you want? Biggs2004 is asking, is the third movie in this? 
all the movie. Yeah, all right. three eras are in this. Um, you've got um, The Last Jedi DLC is going to be in the game. So that's going to be something that's dropping in December. It's not going to be here at launch. But yeah, you're going to get all three eras. You're going to get que to prequel, not creeper. Prequel era, prequel? Or original trilogy, original? as well as well as uh, um, as well as uh, the new one. And there's only been one movie, so on the new one, so there's not much content to pull from. But you can bet your bot, you can bet your ass that they're gonna put in every bit of content they can. Okay, I need to stop talking and yeah. I need to focus on sniping. Yeah, you need to get to the high ground. Figure out how you can get onto that building. We're just getting sniped. No like, is there is there a grappling pod or something that was possibly allowing those people up there? Uh, maybe there's stairs. Maybe, maybe there's stairs. I, I don't know. Find those stairs. Find them. You must find them. And hit him in the head. Get a shield. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you guys. Some of you guys stoked? I see in chat there's a uh, Tyson stoked to play this game. That's cool. Who are you most excited to play? Which class are you most excited to play? Or which hero are you most excited? Let us know in chat right now. We've been playing this game all day. And by we, I mean, they've also been playing and I've been kind of hanging out. Um, so far, we've done the all the other trooper classes. We started with uh, a heavy class, and then we did officer, then assault, now the final one was specialist. So far, I think the consensus is that assault is by far the best. Yep, by far best. Oh yeah. Uh, heavy was a bit confusing as to exactly how you're supposed to operate. Uh, officer was not necessarily confusing as to how you're supposed to operate, you just couldn't operate properly. You're supposed to be like supporting your teammates, and yet nobody was around to be supported, and you don't get any benefit from it. So, yeah, officer just, just made no sense whatsoever. It, it just was, it was just bad. Um, I just think the officer needs to just a big, big, big rework, or I'm going to need to do, and maybe more likely, I need to do some pre-mates with officer to just see what it's like to actually coordinate with your allies in this game, rather than like just go with go hug master like yeah. I was doing today. Give uh, Gabriel Reyes. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Gabriel? How's it going? Excited for your new skin Tuesday? That Halloween's. It's the cool. oh, it's the Gabriel Reyes. Oh, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize it at all. Oh, that's like the saddest death. Look at her, like she had a really, <laughs> really sad face there in the mud. That was super, super sad. Uh, I feel bad about that one. Bond plays fives asking who's on the right and who's on the left. Uh, I'm Moxness and this is AWOL. Hey. So you might know me from the uh, voicing the Overwatch videos on the channel, on TGN. Uh, I've done a lot of the voicing for those videos. That's probably heard me there. And AWOL has, he's been around with TGN since its beginning, what, seven years ago? Yes, I'm one of the, seven years one ago. of the co-founders of TGN. He is like a dinosaur. I'm a dinosaur he in this day and age. super old. Like, I can't believe I can still play video games on the internet. Yeah. Um, it, it just blows me away that I'm still capable. The actions are incredibly slow. Yes. Get this. As Give me the head. Yes, as I get a headshot. <laughs> there you go. Ding. There's dudes up there. How do they get up there? there you have to find. There's, there's got to be stairs or something. You gotta find the way. All right, I'll find a way up there. That is the spot. Life finds a way. Life always finds. A way. <laughs> All right. Here, let me let me just do like a scan up there and see. Okay, yes. Bag him and bag him. Headshot. Well, he's already dead. Josiah's really wanting the specialist to be good. Josiah's been here with us through a bunch of the streams today, I think. So thanks for sticking around. Thanks for enduring all of our learning the game together. Yeah. I appreciate that. It's, it's, been, it's been fun today. It's, like, it's really fun to learn new games and to check out all the new mechanics and everything. 
There's a decent amount of content here in the beta. Um, realistically, though, I think that in two days, you could easily go through all the content here and see what's going on. So I don't think that you guys need to do like five days of gameplay to feel like you really got it. I feel like if you just played this weekend, you'll be able to play through everything. And then if you just want to do repetitions because you think PvP is fun, then go from there. Um, so there's not an immense amount of content. Yeah. This is the part where I miss a million times and I'm trying to snipe someone. Sweet, Luca Flynn was asking, is this the thumbnail a portal reference? Uh, no. Is that a portal reference? Is it? If it was, it wasn't intentional. I can't think of it. It's the, I'm special, right? Um, is that a portal reference? I don't know. I didn't think it was a reference. I just liked him saying I'm special, yeah. and that's why we did it. We're like, we oh. just did it because uh, we're doing specialist gameplay and thought it'd be funny to have the droid saying I'm special. That's why. I shot him. I got a body shot on him, and he didn't die. Oh, it's a rocket trooper. Yeah. I thought it was should've a known better. trooper. I should have known better. Rocket troopers have more HP, by the way. We are studs. Awesome job. Thank you, Ross. I appreciate it, man. That's Ross. He manages our socials for TGM. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. Overall, decent guy. In your head. In your head. There we go. Hey, I still got headshots. Come on. Hey, you got it. And he was like basically standing still, but I got him in the head. Oh, here's another. Okay, let me just. Um, what do you got for? Do you have any close range? I have, I like have infiltration. That's the that's the closest. And infiltration gives you like cloaking. No, it gives you an increased move speed, and then um, with that increased move speed, you can the gap on people and go into mid to short range. This, even though I don't have ability on cooldown, so I don't have to melee him. I damaged him with my disruption, and there you go. I'm gonna try to get the Wookiee right now. We haven't gotten the Wookiee all day. Yes! So let's see if we can get the Wookiee here. Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Wookiee, go! Bowcaster! Wookiee! I've been wanting the Wookiee. Okay, so D looks like a thermal. My Q looks like a thermal imploder. Um, my normal shot is gonna be like regular bowcaster shot, it appears. Looks like I can do a spread shot on my top card, then there's some sort of health boost on my other card. So, to be very careful and try to stay alive. <laughs> Emery Turner is asking us how does... Hey, how's it going? Thanks for coming and joining the stream. Now, to watch the Wookiee destroy some crap! I'm oh so God. excited! I might die really fast. <laughs> Don't die! Don't die until you rip somebody's arms off. That was a thermal imploder. Shoot him! I killed no one! Oh, ha, ha. That was a thermal imploder. I threw it into a rock. And then it blew up, and, <laughs> and doves flew away. And Did then really? doves, there are doves freaking doves everywhere. Doves are everywhere in this game. If you guys haven't seen the other map yet, there are doves everywhere. Yeah, that's pretty much the entire game. All Just over the place. Dub simulator. Oh, we're defeated. I gotta say, Specialist feels pretty good. It, it's, it's, it's making sense. That's good. Scan. Throw the disruptor. Disable people. You have a mid-range and long-range attack. It seems really straightforward. I really want to use the specialist weapon, though, that has a burst fire. There's one that has a three shot. Yep. Rather than just the one shot, uh, because my accuracy is super average. So, but I need 600 of Star Wars coins or whatever credits. So, like, these crafting points in it. <laughs> Star Wars coin. In order to get it. And I would have to play like, like basically seven hours a day hours. for the next three days to get one gun. Yep. Um, so that's going to be tough. I like, get you. Yeah. I mean, Prepare it, for the grind. Take away. This game is going to be super grindy. And that's something that, keep in mind, all the DLC in this game is going to be... F right. But... You, if you want a lot of the abilities or a lot of the star cards or what have you, you're going to have to grind for crates in order to get them. And I'm sure that if you dropped, say, a hundred bucks 
day one. Yep. Could be probably a month ahead. Yep. And then you'd be able to, it's it's a pay to accelerate model. And a lot of people don't like it. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, I think it's better than DLC. Sure. Like split splitting the community with DLC. Bad yeah. for a PV multiplayer game, in my opinion. Yeah, but I like I like having free uh, free maps, we have been charged free characters, stuff like that. Here on um, and I I'm sure that like when you do something like that, you have to earn revenue somewhere else. Got to be in either of these microtransactions. Got to be in expansions, or something like that. And they're not going to be doing expansions. They tried to have before. DLC in the previous game. Right. And now they're taking a bit of a different approach. So I think it's I think they're they're trying to copy Overwatch a little bit that way, as I think probably most game developers are going to be. Like anybody when somebody does something successful like that. Everybody copies it because it copy. made money. <laughs> yeah. So that's why you have these loot crates. The game just like Overwatch loot crates, and I'm not saying that Overwatch developed the concept, but they made the concept work really well. Yeah, is what they did. That's true. So, um, do I like it? I, I don't know. I don't. The package has been I'm not a huge fan of putting a bunch of money in to get ahead. In, right. So if you're grinding. For weapons, and you can just pay for those weapons. That'll get you better at this game immediately. Then it's a bit. You don't like it's it. It's a bit pay to win. Okay. It, it's a little bit pay to win. It totally is. I, I totally agree. Uh, with that. And I don't like that at all. I think that it shouldn't shouldn't be like that at all. So that's where, like, Overwatch yeah, doesn't have that because it's it's all just aesthetics. Right. That's all you're getting. Melee attacks, by the way, are terrible. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna stop attack. using melee attacks. They're just so incredibly what terrible. What the heck was that? <laughs> yeah, the three round burst game sounds amazing. So I, I don't know personally. Yeah, I understand. You have to make money. Like for them to justify spending more money to develop more content, they have to make more money. Yeah. I would prefer a subscription model, but I understand that that will limit the size of the player base. And they're wanting to have the largest possible player base. It's also for Star Wars. This is a this is a vehicle to promote their to promote their movie products. Yeah. So that's something that's really movies, important. So the larger the parks, movies, yeah, all that stuff. Their <laughs> shirts, lunch boxes, everything. Yeah. Skin yeah. equals skill. I agree. Skin absolutely equals skill. Do you think Battlefront Two was better? Um, we don't know if Battlefront 2 is better yet, um, because we're only seeing the early access on this. So this is only a fraction of the content that's going to be in this game. Um, so I don't feel comfortable saying that this game is better or worse than that game. I mean, my default answer is it's not as good, because that's one of the best shooters of all time, um, in my opinion. I mean, certainly for its time, it was the longest shooter. So we will yeah. see. I think the thing that could really make this game stand out is the story mode, like I've said a couple times on our streams. And if they, if they, if that story mode is excellent, uh, then I think they're going to realize that investing in story is something that can make them big money, and the fans go crazy for it, and can be like a big draw for PvP games. Um, oh god, there's so many <laughs> enemies over there. There was. Oh god, run, 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 run. Do a barrel roll. Use the brakes. They're all this way. Let's see. I'm trying to get a flank. But come on. Nope. No flank for me. Got shot from behind. Yar. You played FPS shooters for so long, yet you are still terrible. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Great. Yeah, so specialist class, I'm, I'm hoping that I can get the three round burst done. We'll see. In terms of the damage modifiers for headshots versus body shots, I'm not sure exactly what that modifier is. I remember in pre-alpha, uh, folks were saying that it was a 250% bonus. 
Um, not sure if that is the exact bonus today. And as you can see with body shots, you need to get, uh, I think, three body shots with this gun in order to kill. Um, and I think it's two headshots to kill, or two, one body, two head in order to kill. So, what gun are you using right now? I don't know. Um, let's see what the name of it. The gun is the DLT-19D. Name of this gun. Let's take a Yep. Let's look up some information on that. The DLT 19D heavy blaster rifle. Long range heavy blaster rifle and variant of the DLT 19 heavy blaster. Featuring a scope and two underbarrel devices, one of which was a glow rod. You know what a glow rod is? I don't know what a glow rod is. First order conceals. The flashlight? Grenade in place. It's, it's also a, a flashlight. Glow rod. Also known as a light stick, a flashlight, or a glow lamp. Interesting. Uh, it was used by some of the Galactic Empire's death troopers in DL 19D, carried by death troopers that participated in the capture of Urso. Good to know. Yeah. yeah. And death trooper that killed Lyra Urso. Uh, Alright. Scarif. Right. Now we know all the history. Yeah. And years later, it would be by First Order Specialist Stormtroopers! And here we are. Full circle. Circle? Full circle. Yeah. Yeah. It's the complete story. The more you it's, know. it's the story behind the gun. So it's really difficult. I'm noticing that. You can't go on curved terrain or curved terrain um without having your scope s disrupted big time so i try to zoom in and then anytime you're like on the edge of a rock it goes wham, 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 and zooms in and out over and over again so i hope that they can uh fix that it's like right here I'm, like trying to zoom in and see what's going on and i just can't where it just it just kicks me out basically all right there's like five people so they're defending the uh, extraction point yeah Two body, one head. I said two head, one body. Oops, it's two body, one head. Yeah. Bodies. The old Star Wars Battlefront 2 was so bad. I don't I don't agree. I think the old Star Wars Battlefront 2 was probably the strongest Battlefront title, like, for its time. Oh, the story? Oh, the, the story. story. I don't. Oh. Maybe true. The story would be very bad. So memorable that hey, well, I don't it remember it. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. It seems. How do you feel it's going Actually, so far? It's, with it looks like it's two head. Team. It's two head. I just hit him right in the head, and it took fifty percent of his health away. I have to get two headshots to kill with this gun. Now I assume that when I can, uh, when I upgrade this gun with the star card. I'll be able to kill. But I just hit that guy two body shots with my gun. It's fine. It was three body shots, two head, based on what I just saw right there. Yeah. That's really difficult to kill people with three body shots or two head shots as a sniper. Um, so maybe the three round burst gun will have some advantages there. Like, you see how many times I'm actually connecting with this guy? The artifact takes me to extraction. There you go, I got him. All right. Focus on the objective. Objectives are more. Killing people. What's that? There we go. Man, that's just, it just seems to me like that's way too many shots to have to hit somebody as a sniper to kill them. Right. Now, now my rate of fire is like, okay, not super duper duper slow, like yeah. for a traditional sniper rifle. But, man, <laughs> I gotta put a lot of shots in you, man, to take you down. That's that's pretty tough. How do you feel about the specialist now? I gotta say, the I specialist, so. I mean, assault for me, I think is gonna be stronger. Yep. Um, I think that's probably gonna be what I continue to focus on. 
Salt seems to be the most fun. Most. It's going to be the most to understand like, noob friendly. friendly. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, skill cap. The XP gamers. Oh, it's Shaq. Captain, Captain Shaq. Shaq. Here. In chat. Saying, Officer, totally best class. What do you have to say to that? I have to say that the officer is definitely the worst class in the <laughs> open early access. It's so terrible. It's like unusable. Um, but yeah, I mean, to Shaq's point, officer was the class I'm most excited about. I'm most excited to actually play when the game comes out. Yeah. But right now, officer is incredibly frustrating. To try to be successful. Two hundred power. Yeah, I mean, the, you're just yeah, no battle points. It's just the yeah you you don't get battle points. I mean that's that's pretty much it. Like you have to shoot people with your pistol, and that's how you get battle points. That's it. You know, if you if they give you the opportunity to collect more battle points with other cards and stuff, cool. But that doesn't Holy exist grenade. right now. Um, so maybe one day when it does exist, we find. But it doesn't today. Whoa! Yeah. Look at that flailing animation there. That was amazing. That sniper there was suppressing me super hard. Do I play the objective? I'm not currently playing the objective because none of my allies are playing the objective. <laughs> and I noticed that if you only play the objective right now in this game, you get you, no battle points. You get no battle points at all. And upgrade. Ready things. Nobody's playing the objectives right now the way they're supposed to. Yeah, and that's I mean that's probably also something that they'll find from this if it keeps going like this throughout the beta. If people keep playing this way and just want to play until they can upgrade their own characters, then What he Did you see that bow oh he's a rocket jumper. Okay, so my rocket did more damage to me than it did to him at a, at a point blank shot to the enemy Watch rocket you. trooper. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. You guys just watch that. Is that what just happened? Because I just shot, I just literally the rocket exploded on his model. I saw it. And I don't what, know, what maybe happened? Just, uh, just not as good as he. Hey, I'm I'm not I'm not <laughs> I'm not that good. So that that is definitely that definitely could be a trick. So wait, if you're saying you're not that good, does that mean actually better? Th I am I actually that. better than I, I think I am? Wow. <laughs> Yay, he's dead. Hey. Killing people. This is somebody who's getting Yeah, the uh the buff mechanic I agree. Jack. Buff mechanic it's pretty rough right now. Yeah. With the with it's the officer that difficult. was the Yeah. The thing is the buff just didn't it, uh, it didn't do enough, uh, nobody stick around you enough to get the benefit, you don't get any battle points from it, it's hard to see actually who you are buffing, because you don't actually see the area that you're buffing until after. Yep. On it. So, that's a little bit weird. The, uh, the turrets that the officers can use are... Uh, Hit or, hit or miss a little bit, right? Like they're okay. They, they just half the time they aren't doing anything. And the other half the time is like, oh, okay, yeah, great, thanks. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Just the best storytelling. This is just an amazing gotcha. bit of storytelling. Are they are they complimenting your storytelling? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. No, I think they're talking about Star Wars Battlefront too. Oh. Okay. The story of Star Wars Battlefront 2 was really interesting. You were a soldier of the Order 66 and had to help the Jedi. Then you had to kill them. And boring stuff with very hard missions. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, what an incredible yes. story. <laughs> Just the best story. Amazing. Though. Only the best story. Just the best. <laughs> uh, so some people are saying that uh, maybe the specialist will be better on the other. Yeah. This might be better. I think it will. It's a much more open map. Wanted to show this one first. We'll go check out the specialist. As you can see, when um, when I have a clear shot on someone, like it's fine, it's easy. Um, 
That map, there's a lot of obstructions with the trees, so it is a bit more difficult. But I think that's just a matter of finding your positioning, also learning how to go to the top of that building, which I did not do. Yeah. Uh, so I think once you learn that, Fail. you just destroy everyone. So we're going to go check this one out on Assault on Thief. Time to fight some droids. Or, or beat some Kill droids. some clones. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I think like the the droids, the clones, the stormtroopers. I'm cool with all them being like looking the same because those are official. That's their uniform. You're supposed to be wearing that armor. You're supposed to be that helmet. The droids all look the same. I think the weird thing for me is with like officers. Um, some of the other classes for like the. Resistance? Yeah. When it's like, these are all people with faces. Yet you have a bunch of them on the same team and they all look the same. It's kind of weird when you're yeah. when you're playing in a game that's like, this the story of this game is there are like mass-produced droids, mass-produced clones, and now you have what appear like mass-produced resistance fighters. Yeah, that's a right? really good point. Because they... They should, I mean, they should have skins for that, where yeah. you can, like in the previous Battlefront, you could, like, any number of, you know, you could do both genders, you could do any number of skin colors for, like, normal humans, and you could do multiple appearances as well, and That's they'd have different hairstyles, you could be an officer, a death trooper, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. But the whole build of that game is, you are a generic trooper, with nothing. And then you can use, like, cards to become something. So, it's just a lot of assets for them to create for each trooper here. Which is probably yeah. why... Put a helmet on everybody. Or, like, give every, um... Give every officer a mustache. A different mustache. <laughs> Even the female. Correct. I mean, I want to give that, that redhead... No, officer. Right now, she looks like a 12 year old. Look like. a teen year old. Something like that. How's it going here? Looks like uh, a lot of leaves in your view. I I've, see a lot of leaves. I've a lot already of leaves got. In steam. <laughs> I've already got 300 battle points already on this map, so I've been waiting to play specialist on this map. So I can shoot people in the head like that. This looks like duck hunt half the time. With all the freaking ducks. Like, and so much of the time they're like flying up from the ground. So it just looks just like duck hunt. <laughs> oh god, he sees me. Let's see you. Oh. Special battle. Oh, count it. Sweet. Sweet. I almost and have a Julius thousand Stevens. battle points. Say hi. Hello. Hello. Greetings. This guy's still aiming at me. He's just dead set. Getting me. This guy over here. Oh. Nope. Hey. Duke. It's hot. This is hot specialist on specialist action. Got him. Oh, I got ten hit points. I'm gonna chill for a minute. Yeah. We're just like we're just both basically feeding on each other to get battle points. We're like, we're gonna get Darth Maul, okay? <laughs> There's three specialists, all of them are focusing me, so I'm going three v one down there. See all of them, man? That's crazy. <laughs> Scan them. Yeah, they're all right there. See them. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna move position. I really don't headshot here. Oh, hi there. Oh, yeah. The game looks amazing. It does. And it's smooth. And it's fairly well optimized, too. Pull down on this gun? Not so good. Ooh, okay, this gun can get a headshot in one shot. That other gun? Couldn't do it. Um, okay, I'm a little bit more interested in this gun. As you can see, I already have 1,200 battle points. Okay. So maybe it's about picking the right class in the right situation. Hey, how about that? Right hand. It's four. Droid Hunter, Dove Simulator Droid Hunter Combo Pack. Right. <laughs> what they say? Roger, 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 Roger. 
Find your rifle. Okay, who's the dog? Me. <laughs> That's who. Getting focused, I think, by vehicle. That is, I think it could be cool for the clones. Imperials in first order. If you change your uniform color, stripes, and the like. Bible first marking. That, other faction. But that would be really cool. I totally agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like, uh, almost like decals or types of things that the... Uh, Echoes yeah. color scheme, that sort of thing that you could rip for your... Yeah, even like, yeah, armor. just giving That'd people cool. like stripes and... Yeah, I, I like yeah. that. Because they're not going to break outside of what realistic in quotation marks or what is like actually a part of the Star Wars universe and approved. They're yeah. just not going to do that. There's not going to be silly kitty cat skin or obviously not, but you, you get the point. You're not going to do like crazy custom skins. Me. Years. <laughs> I I would buy that. Disney has Star Wars. The Mickey ears. Disney celebration. It would be awful. Yeah, it would be. It would be so bad. It's so bad. It's. I don't know. Would you guys pay your hard-earned dollars for that kind of thing? Is that the kind of thing you're looking for? <laughs> I would absolutely. I would absolutely. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you would pay. You would pay hard-earned cash for that. Uh, maybe. For, okay, maybe. <laughs> if it's if that's like the only ridiculous thing in a game that's completely serious, uh, you that have would to be get the, it. The best thing to buy. Yeah, that's true. The most hilarious thing to buy. That's true. Right. Like if all of a sudden you had like all of this customization option, you know that. If it was possible, it would just change their skins to like crap. Because nobody wants to be shot by somebody that looks ridiculous. This nobody is true. wants to be killed by somebody with like Mickey Mouse ears or really stupid looking. It's so true. Stuff. It'd just be so infuriating. It's like, ah, it looks so dumb. My character looks so cool! I spent everything on making my character look so cool! I know. Like you're playing like Darth Maul and all of a sudden like some idiot and like you're just, like boxing clothes. <laughs> Imagine the tea bags. <laughs> Giant like sombrero comes over and it's like <laughs> bah, like melees you with your like last hit points. Dude, it's so ticked off. <laughs> Naked clone troopers. Naked clone troopers? They're just naked, naked, but they have like a sensor. Naked female. Like sensor bars. <laughs> they have like the mosaic. The like sensor mosaic. <laughs> deep, deep thoughts on how we could ruin this game for everyone. How we could ruin this like Star Wars. Like you could live out your greatest Star Wars fantasies, including naked ones. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool. Okay, I'm paying money. Shoot her! Alright, we're gonna let this thing. The cooldown on this gun is rough, the damage is really solid. I'm actually, if I got star cards for this, I'd be pretty excited to see how many body shots I could reduce this one to. I mean, you guys see the difference between this gun and the one in the previous game. Like, I'm getting kills with, like, one headshot, two body shots. I'm in great shape. How so, many points does it take to get uh, 5,000? A lot. That, that's a lot of battle. Yeah, I'm doing much better this game, though. I'm already at, like, 1,800 plus 400, There's so... a never-ending flock of freaking dubs flying from who knows where. From the tile. Look at that! Good Jesus! They're just flying. It's the same spot. Just like Dove Generator, right there. It's just too many Dubs, man. Like they just overdid it. Oh yeah. Like it looks cool having a few of them. Or if they would like oh, Jesus. fly and then disappear right. for a while. 
right? Like it like generates a bunch, and then okay, and then it's done with time. It's right. Like, it's, it's like constant. <laughs> like somebody. Just particles. <laughs> particles. It was just like, like this was like the mass like Star Wars wedding day here on Naboo, and everyone's got a million doves that they're releasing for the air. Uh oh, look out! Don't get shot by the MT. Yeah, it's me. Stop standing in the middle. By the MT of the ship. or the uh, what was it? The LPT. We very effectively defended there. I'm. I really enjoyed playing Specialist this game. That was pretty fun. Like, the big open area is great. Especially at the beginning of the game. Just unload on it. They spawn. Rack up a ton of points. That was really nice. Hey, look, somebody who played Ray got a lot of points. Very nice. <laughs> got, like, everything. You could say, <laughs> you could say the map is overburdened. <laughs> that was fantastic. That was a great pun. That was pretty good. Nicely done. Nicely done, Josiah Wall Wallace. You're a legend. All right. I would love, time. I would love to... Okay, I think this is the burst one. No, it's not. High provision... Blah, 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 blah. This is the burst one. I think. Yeah, this is the burst one. All right, whatever. They're just gonna give us the single shot ones that have well, like cruddy right. cooldown on this map. Um, for big snipes, because you're not gonna have prolonged engagements here, so that's fine. We'll give it a shot. Um, I'm gonna go. Actually, I don't know if it matters at all to go first person with specialist, because when you zoom in, you're going, you're, you're scoping anyway. Yeah. yeah, I don't think right, it, and it's you're zooming help. most of the time. Right. Welcome yeah. to Pun City. Gabriel Reyes. <laughs> die, die, die. I see the dance everybody's doing. Yeah. Dude, citizen, crowd. Get out of my way. Oh, can you like execute all those? I don't, I don't think I actually do. It's just like. I think we can only assume that they will all be executed. <laughs> we can just, just ex execute these helpless clone troopers to gain battle points at the beginning. <laughs> That's so Here's good. some freebies for you guys! Murder! <laughs> Put them all in the backs of their heads. Gotcha. Oh my god, the beginning of the game, Specialist is so strong. In the head. Okay, you're dead. You can just hang out back by the vehicle, and you're very safe back here. You're barely safe back here. There. Oh, it should have been a headshot. Got it. I got two body shots. Oh, I got sniped. I got sniped. Hey, I got my Combat Feel free to send me a beta code. I wish we I could send you a beta code. beta code. Nobody has beta. Nobody. Nobody has beta. Sure, I actually talked to uh, a guy I know at EA. Yeah. I was like, can you give me a beta code? He's like, oh. Just not a thing. It's not even like they're withholding it or whatever. Like, they just don't have plans to do beta codes for them. Like, you can pre order and get the two day early access. Or you can just wait for the open beta. The open beta is long, so you know what I mean. So there's like, it's not like people are gonna miss out on being able to buy the beta. You'll get it. Yep. Oh come on! Oh, I missed his head. Come on! That was disappointing. That was that was just bad shooting. Oh, I should have shot him right in the freaking head, right in the dome. For battle point. I don't have that many. Like right nothing. Need to get more kills. Yeah. Is there any? Are there any uh, reinforcements that we haven't? Seen? 
Um, that's a good question. We have not seen. Shit, once, once you get enough. Like Darth Maul and Rey, we haven't done sure. those yet. Those ones are also. They expensive. Very expensive. M16 having trouble with the beta. I don't know how to help you. Time to try opening it, it freezes. That that really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. That does suck. Um, I know that EA is trying to be really responsive and helping people with technical things right now. Start so, calling them. Yeah, I would email their... I know this is like boring and the generic thing. I would actually email their support team. I'm sure that they are like booking extra people to help with this beta right now. Because this is probably going to be their like biggest breadwinning game of the year. <laughs> so I imagine they're going to... They're gonna do everything they can to support. Because they're gonna make your they're gonna make money from you. Uh oh, I see you. I see you. Nope, got one body shot. Let me see if I can finish him off. Nope. Nope. He was not fully enough. And in front of a specialist, that's a zoom. Are there any like emote things that there are. I hit the emote buttons earlier. I assigned them to my F1 and F2, and I just didn't didn't work. Oh. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get a little closer. What kind of emotes? Like Roger, Roger. I I think they're gonna be like generic, like I I and whatever, like dance maybe, I, you know, stuff like that. Better. I don't think they can take too much creative liberty with like making the trooper characters have tons of personality. Yeah, because they're all really true. Now you value the heroes, right? Yep. You can create that value by making else generic. That's Everybody correct. Everybody wants to be cool, non generic here. Yep. Just have this like vortex of leaves. God, there's Allie. so many. Chuck it just... I think, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, I think dice needs to add more, like, more variety. Have some, like, plastic bags, newspapers floating around, like that. Maybe just, like, bits of random garbage that the Naboo people leave the streets. Yeah, like right? recycling bins. That you, like, you get battle points for putting the garbage in. To a recycling bin and sorting by paper containers and all of that. Like we need more things flying in front of the screen. More different things. We have, we don't have enough. I I told the leaves and the doves. I couldn't agree more. All the leaves, and doves. I was just trying to snipe with my, my vision scope there. Yep. God, they're like these. So many leaves. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird how close to the ground so many of these doves are. Why is that? Why is that the most fast? Like, what why is, is that, it the most fast thing? Why does it? What does it say about this game? This <laughs> fire on that disruption. I think it just means that there is too many freaking leaves and doves. Is that, is that all it means, or does it mean that the rest of the game is not engaging enough for us not to talk about the dogs? Ooh. Um, I don't know. I just notice it every time. Like you go down, it's, because they're they're in these spots, right? Like you go down one street and there's just like a bunch of leaves on the on the street, but you go down another and they're all just like swirling around in the air indefinitely forever. Right. Big whole bunch of leaves, just all swirling. Like here, right? Like it looks like it's like leaf blower droid off to the side. Just maybe that's a reinforcement. That maybe that's the reinforcement we haven't seen yet. Leaf blower droid. <laughs> yeah, they're like cloaked. Professional like cloaked, animal handler droids. Cloaked leaf blower droids. Nobody can see them, but they're there. I like. Tactical leaves. <laughs> Stirring up the leaves. Provide We're shooting the guy in his gun. Cover. The part of providing moderate cover. 
tactical cover. We'll confuse the enemy. That's Why the, are they using leaves? That's the I don't less, know. That's the lower version of like the less expensive version of Battlefront. Fine. Like, oh, you don't want to spend the seventy bucks? Or like, damn, that's okay. You can put in thirty bucks. Like from these subclass, we have the uh, Dove who can play. We have Leaf Blower, Invisible Droid who can play. Uh, you can Invisible play, Droid. You can play the little droids. That Stealth just kinda, Leaf Blower Droid. You can play one of the turrets. Yeah, that's good. Uh, right. When somebody sets it up, so you have to wait until somebody sets up the turret. Then you can that turret. Right. What else we got? <laughs> like EA, please what take some notes right now because this is your this is your upcoming free DLC. The other map you can be the dirt specialist, where you just like you go around. You're the one who splatters with dirt. These are engaging. Like I feel like this is this is why you go to a galaxy far, far away is to do things like that. Yeah. Like, you could blow leaves in your galaxy, in your front yard. Oh, but why would you do that? You can pay a lot of money and do it right here. Oh, right before the door closed. Stick around that dark mall. Yeah, I'm gonna let him just be a big old lightsaber of a distraction. And just chill back here and just keep scanning. Seems to be working fairly well. I've got 2,000 battle points on this half of this life, so it's going pretty decent. The MTT is in position. Clear the area of clone resistance and prepare. All right, looks like we can go into the palace. So I think this is where this is where the specialist is not going to be as strong. Yeah. Um. So I might have to have to be very careful about my input rates those at the right time. But I can scan. I can scan through the walls, though. That's good. That's helpful. What the heck happened there? Darth Maul's <laughs> chasing it. It was like... It was funny. That was like a cartoon. Yeah. Disruption. Battle point. Yeah, my battle points are doing decently well. I gotta say... Out of all the classes I played today, Specialist is going really well, but I think it's also because I've played throughout the day now yeah. and I don't have experience. But this one seems to be going pretty well. So, so in like rank order, assault, specialist, heavy officer. Is that kind of how you're assault, doing it now? specialist, heavy officer. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Palace doors unsealing. Decimation programs push pretty good. The enemy back and it seems pretty par for the course too, right? Yeah. Like you, like look at something like uh, Overwatch. Okay. Compared to Overwatch. What? Why would you do that? Why would I do? That? Are you crazy? Yep. So assault. That's offense. Everyone wants to play that. Specialist. That's like snipers for. Yeah, you get tons of people playing snipers. Well, then you have yeah. There's always a Hanzo or a Widow. I'm gonna do B2 battle droid by the way for the rockets. Then you have the uh, uh, what is it? A heavy, yep. which would be more like tank, right? You get less of those. And uh, then officer, which would be like support, and uh, nobody plays that. Right. All right. Rockets. I don't know exactly what my abilities do here on Battle Joy, so I need to work on that. This was like the one you were super excited to play. Right? Yeah, it is. It is. Because wrist rockets are so cool. Like, shooting a rocket from you. To be honest, that's amazing. Just like three guys there? Wrist rockets? I am. I think it like double the firepower or something with that ability. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna see what my E does. My E just gives me extra HP. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, this is really solid. Yes. I have 450 HP. Lots of fire power. Spelled in the tank. That's why I Ah, oh, there's a lot of super power. Rocket. Okay. This is the big is palace cool. scenario that I've been kind of waiting for. Yeah. Maybe people, because they're actually, I shouldn't have done that. I was walking. I was walking forward slowly too long. Uh, but this is that palace scenario I've been waiting for. You actually are battling over this main objective. This is what it's supposed to be like. Yeah. This, theoretically, this would be the scenario where our officer comes in hand. Drop, like you have four officers, they all drop their turrets in there, and all of a sudden it's like just a total, total disaster for the enemy team to try to cut through it. See where they're at. Hey. Yep. Go to the outside and see it. I can't. It's nice. Get some picks. Pick them yeah, off. I'm gonna try to get it. I'm gonna lay up here. Hey, there. I'd be I would be awful. Oh god. Oh god, there's a nade. Playing snipers in every game is probably the most difficult to be good at it. Yeah. Everybody plays it. <laughs> Doesn't mean you're good at it. I'm not saying I'm good at it fun. right now. Just to be very clear, I'm not saying that at all. But, yeah. um... Ryan. <laughs> What do you guys think about the uh, specialist class here? Let us know in chat uh, what your thoughts are. Do you have any questions? Is, is there anything that you want AWOL to do in the game? Yeah, anything you want let me know. Him to try out? Let us know in the chat. Got uh, 40 minutes left for this stream. And, uh, and then that'll be, that'll be it for our streams for today. But we are going to be doing more streams tomorrow. We're going to be doing three more streams tomorrow. On this is crazy. This is a, such an aggressive streaming schedule. Like, out of nowhere. Hey, let's just do a bazillion streams. Yeah. Let's just do it. Yeah. We'll do seven streams. Yeah. We'll see if people like it. Yeah. Oh, boy, it's Chewbacca. I gotta go. Chewbacca? He's going to rip my droid arms out. And Was it actually Chewbacca? It's not actually Chewbacca. It's just a Wookiee. Oh, it's just a Wookiee. God, yeah. why do I keep saying Chewbacca? I... I correct people all the time when they do that, and here I am doing it myself. Our names. The backer. Backers? Oh god. Here they come. See if I can. A little information. Uh oh. Nope. He says, nope. I'm an assault class, and if you want to 1v1 me, bro, let's do it. Yep. What class haven't I done? This is the final class. This is it. Um. This is the the fourth one of the day. Started off with heavy, did officer, did assault, and now here I'm doing specialist. Yeah. And so far, specialist is very fun. As a as a player who's not really a sniper, generally, like I don't know if you could tell, my sniping skills are thoroughly average. We'll say above average if we're being generous. Um it's actually fairly easy to pick up. And as you can see, I'm like mi I'm missing lots of shots here, right? This would be something that Widow mains out there, Hanzo mains, would have no really trouble hitting these shots. Oh, my cooldown. Oh, okay, that was the end of the game. There you go. Do any of the droids offer anything different than the clones? Like, you mean like the reinforcements? The reinforcements are different. They, they are different. Um, like the rocket droid is different than the rocket trooper. However, like a first order rocket trooper versus a, you know, different rocket trooper, not much of a difference. Um, B2 super battle droid is different than any other reinforcement that you can necessarily get on the other side. So there's that. So yeah, there's differences in the reinforcements. Also the ships are... They are not clones of the other side's ship. So all of those ships, all the like air support is completely from scratch built. Like 
None of this is a reskin. So every ship is going to feel different. And they, uh, I believe it was Motive? Was it Motive or Criterion that did the air combat? Anyway, they designed everything. They from scratch did all. Uh, because the previous Star Wars Battlefront title was... Just, the, the air combat was just shallow, basically. It was hit shift, lock onto your target, left click. Keep them generally in this your sights, and they die. Like, that was the gameplay. I don't know. This time, it's way deeper. So, long story short, the vehicles and the heroes are going to be different. The trooper classes, only difference I can see is the guns. I haven't seen any other difference. Um, I don't see anything noticeable. Let me know if there are, if there are other differences, but that's all I'm saying. But you know what, it makes it easy to continue to queue, though. Like, I'm gonna play Specialist tonight. Cool. Just queue a Specialist. Because a Specialist is a Specialist is a Specialist. Um, so... I like the other birds that start off there, that just, they don't even fly. They're just, they're that badass. They're just, like, walking on the ground. They're like, nah. It's like a normal day in Naboo. <laughs> um, on the concrete. No big, no Not big. Those ones, those ones are like we're gonna fly out from miles here. Cool to know where we're coming. <laughs> Other tail papyrus. And, you know, jokes. Oh, aim. About my aim. Thank I, you. I mean Reinhardt. My aim is supreme. I mean Winston. My aim is even better. <laughs> it's cause you just hold the left click. It's funny. <laughs> Saw that little frame drop there. I noticed the frame drops happen whenever you spawn in on this map. I hope they can adjust that. And I think it's namely because the second you spawn in, you've got about 200 doves flying through the air. And it's just a That's lot. That's probably why. That's yeah. a lot for your for your uh, graphics card to handle. I'm getting yeah, if you somewhere. set it on lower settings, is it gonna like get rid of those? I or don't. Just gonna look I like don't know. Crap don't know. leaves. You... Um, one second. You're yeah. Right. All right, my turn. My turn. I'm gonna. T okay, it's not my turn. He's back. My Here wife is pregnant and could be having a baby at any moment. So if she calls, I have to answer because it could be her it's having a baby. Yeah, that's what that's what's up. And also, John might be having a baby or yeah. a droid. Sure, or... Power it up. Wait, is that a possibility? Have... have you talked to the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of conversations <laughs> have you already had? All right, sweet. <gasps> Shoot them. Kill them with your laser. Wow, I'm just getting completely wrecked this game. I had a lot more fun watching you play Salt. Yeah. We hit the transport. Yeah. I was having the most fun playing Assault. Yeah, for sure. Specialist, I've had a couple like great sequences with a couple streaks and big points, but most of that <laughs> progress I was making was dependent on my allies being able to effectively convert. If I'm basically on the front lines, or if I'm just kind of ramboing it out there on my own, that's just... Enemy has waypoint alpha. Getting some congratulations from the baby. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hopefully Congrats, hopefully everything goes well. A baby um, Wookiee? A baby Wookiee, that would be... <laughs> Actually, that would, be, that would be pretty terrible. What that sound like? What does a baby Wookiee sound like? Is that? I imagine it's just cool. it's just a higher <gasps> pitch. <laughs> <laughs> terrible sound. That was a really frightening sound. Actually, you know what that sound reminded me of? <laughs> I just did that now. Uh, has anyone ever played Jet Force Gemini? Like old like Nintendo 64 title from uh, what was it? Thank you. There? 
I, I mean, I remember the name Jet Force Gentleman but I, little, I never played the game. There were these little, like, they were basically Ewoks. And that's what they sounded like. Oh, really? I like, this really had this, like, really high-pitched kind of weird sound and voice. Yeah. That sounds yeah, that's about what like what a baby, a baby Wookiee. <laughs> you know what? I bet there has been a baby Wookiee in a show once, I'm and we could probably sure. there was, find it. There were definitely young Wookiee. Pretty sure I remember that in Clone Wars with Sokotano. It's there's like kid Wookiees. like hanging out with. Them. Good lord! I'm getting wrecked up. This game completely destroyed. All right, I need to change my positioning. I think. You'll be a great dad. As well, the you're gonna be a great. Dad. All the dad joke. Yeah, that explains dad the dad joke. jokes. <laughs> We're just <Ugh>. practicing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why our uh, humor is cringy because we're practicing. Yes, that's not that's actually our humor. Not the all performance here. So, N64, you are old. <laughs> yeah, N64, we... yeah, yeah. Right. And that's that wasn't even my first console. My first console was a Sega Genesis. Was it really? That was my first console. Bought used from my neighbor's garage sale. Oh, nice. Yeah. Like neighbors that uh, actually had like one of them would come babysit my brother and I. But it's like a Genesis. We just want to own it. And, uh, yeah, sold it, bought it, played that for a bunch of time before, uh, before we got an N64, played that for many years. Oh, wow. Got blown away there. Woo. He infiltrated me. I've been infiltrated. So my first, my first system was a, uh, NES. Yeah, say. Yeah. I remember, I remember I when my dad, had. when my dad bought it for me, we went to Walmart, he got like a bonus or whatever from his job, and he told me he was going to give me a prize, and it just seems like the moment I spawn every time or I get near anybody, I die instantly this game. I'm, wow, this is rough. It's a rough game. Um, but yeah, so we got a bonus and we went to a place called Kmart. I don't know how many Key people. Mart. I don't know how Those many people don't exist in, anymore. No, they don't. They went out of business a long. No, they do. Not that long. K Kmart do still, still still exists. Yeah, are yeah. Are there still some? Um, I don't know if there's any here in Canada. But I think they. I think they went out of business in Canada. Yeah, in the United States, they still exist. Um, but they're like kind of a low mid end department store, uh, or like yeah. superstore basically. They're kind of like Walmart, but worse. Anyway. He ended up buying me one of those, and I had no idea. And uh, it changed my life. I mean, here I am, being uh, here I am, you know, in the gaming industry, making content, whatever. Uh, in part because of that. This is disgusting. Yeah, it's not going well for you. No, it's going so <laughs> terribly for me right now. This is awful. <laughs> What happens when you play as a fighter spaceship in this mode? You fly around above everybody's head and you shoot them. Yeah, so we did one earlier when uh, when I was playing the heavy, and I think he uh, picked up the the one that's on rails. Which one is that? Um, there's the L A A T, which a lot of people were hoping was going to be a transport vehicle, uh, but it's not. It's an on the rails thing, basically. So, yeah. um, that's so a little just kind of like goes around and fire lasers. Okay. Yep. It goes around. You fire like yeah. It's basically like, like a big solid beam. shot thing. Yeah. Looks like somebody's using it. Otherwise, I'd show it to you. But yeah, it shoots. It, you basically do circles around the top of the level, and it's kind of like an on the rails Disney ride, and it's like Buzz Lightyear ride at Disney, and then. You know, you rack up points. It's 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 kind of difficult to. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's going so terribly <laughs> this game. Like the moment I go anywhere, instantaneous death. Stop going the same way. I'm gonna go the other way. I gotta go the other way. Okay, now we're inside the. <laughs> I gotta redeem myself. This is wow. 
Get some high ground. You gotta find some high ground somewhere that you can snipe from. I'm That's on the high the, ground there, but the objective is Aaron's gonna be... Aaron's saying in chat. I, you're totally right, I do. I'm gonna go up here and... Fire enter. Fire me at... These guys are just shooting at this door, which nobody is at the door. Oh, that. I just... Where are they at? They're all towards the front. They're all kind of coming in. We have to defend the east door, which we're not doing at the moment. The gray is in the house. Yeah, go ahead and use it. Okay, dead. That's good. Alright, they're all starting to get much closer. I'm gonna go ahead and set up shop up here and the snipe. begin with this. Right out. Looks like they're capturing that objective and nobody's trying to come in here, which I don't even know if they can necessarily engage this door. Might be out of bounds for them. Right, so this is probably not the best place. Enemy overriding the west door. What was the first game you played on NES? On the NES? I mean it was it was Mario Duck Hunt combo. Right. Yeah, I, I played that on uh, Buddy's NES. Buddy's friends' place that uh, played that and like Ninja Turtles. I remember playing the, that. Like the hard NES. Or, like Ninja Turtles game where it, when you would get like six of the foot plan on the screen yeah. and you basically couldn't see anything because they would. The they take over. Like their sprites not, would take over the whole machine. Yeah, you just couldn't handle that much. That much power. There's too many characters for the NES to handle. And that's some intense graphics it's, right there. It's kind of crazy to think about, like, compared to something like this. You have like, millions of particle effects flying around all at once, and that game could not handle six 2D characters in a room. Wow, I just got wrecked right so I got, I went through the door, and then once I went through the door, the objective triggered, and then the door closed, and I couldn't go back through the door. <laughs> so then I got trapped with all of the no enemies right there. So note to self, if that objective is about, about to be captured, you can't go back. Smart is a dying bankrupt company. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Sounds about right to me, yep. I would play... Playing like Sonic 2. Sonic Spinball. Like the Sonic Pinball. Sonic it's Pinball? Like, okay, that's, Sonic, that sounds Sonic like a lot of fun. It was like, I think it's totally like an underrated game. It's, it's one of these like Sonic games that like very neat, yeah, that people played, but uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, it's it's probably pretty fun. Like games like that, there's a lot of replay value because of the difficulty. Of the game. Well, so many games like way back with those consoles, like didn't even have save. Right. Like, you just, you would play until you lost. Right. And now is it. Well, it was it was right. based on the arcade model, basically. Yeah. Boba Fett just death from above us, by the way. <laughs> you really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it was the arcade it's... model. Like, make a game really hard. Why? Because you don't have much game there. So, make it hard. Yeah, you make it, you make it easy for, like, one level and then... Just immediately ramps, ramps up to preposterous. Yeah. There was a time I was like, went to, uh, up going to Vegas. Well, went to Nevada first. And this was like, just a trip. It was my dad, my brother, me, 
some like heat long during the winter time. We're gonna go somewhere warm and stuff to do. And it happened to like rain like the entire time. The entire trip. So all my brother and I did play Jurassic Park. The arcade Lost game? World. The arcade game. The, like, the, I think it was like Jurassic Park The Lost World. Here. That one is that, that one's was, actually fairly difficult, but it's really yeah. fun. It was really fun, and we spent a lot of money playing that game. Oh, really I'm sure. Because sure. it's like because that was all there was to do for like a kid, like kids our age. Like, what can you do? So you can swim in the pool, all of which are outdoors, and it's rainy. That's not really fun. Uh, or you can go gamble in the casinos. Which you can't do, Which we because do. you're a kid. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Or there's the arcades. Okay. Guess we're going to the arcades. Yeah. So, uh... Real trouble in the throat room. Yeah. That's what we... Played it eventually until we beat it. Alright, fair <laughs> enough. I was like, now what do we do? <laughs> I think I beat that game fairly recently with somebody. I went, there was an arcade here... Locally, I think I played with Michael Chu. Ended up dumping like 20 bucks into the game. That's uh, not the fighter from Overwatch. What's that? <laughs> I'm just clarifying. Oh, no, not forever. that Michael Chu. No, <laughs> not, no, no. Not, like not that. the Michael Chu from Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different Michael Chu. Exactly. Non-justice reigns from above. You're absolutely right. There was no justice there whatsoever. But there was lots of raining. We got about 20 minutes left on this stream. So if you guys have anything you want to see that we're able to see in 20 minutes time, let us know in chat. Otherwise, we will be getting into Starfighter gameplay tomorrow. That's right, we sure are. I'm excited about that. Um, I'm excited to play Millennium Falcon. Probably the ship I'm most excited about. It's gonna be the tanky style ship, basically. Like, tons of HP, decent damage, but mostly everybody shooting you the entire time, so that should be really fun to play. Um, based on the pre-alpha, as far as Starfighters are concerned, it looked like everybody was saying Defender was hands down the strongest. So, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see how that shakes out. But... I don't think I don't know if we have time for another one. I think that's that's all we're gonna have here. What do you think? Think we can do one more game? That's up to you, man. It's all up right. to you. We got the. We're gonna do one more. I need to redeem myself after that absolutely god awful terrible game, uh, and see what we can do. We're gonna continue, and I'm gonna see if I can improve here next game. That last game was super duper duper. Yep. Um. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try again. The first game I had, I, we did, I did much better than that previous. Let's see what, let's see what we can do. Somebody's wanting the Wookiee again. Uh... The Wookiee. Yeah, so we can pick up the Wookiee reinforcement. Um, if we're on the other side. Yeah. Not an option. So our reinforcement options are the Vulture Droid, MTT, which is basically a stationary tank scenario, uh, AAT, Tri Fighter, which is essentially a um kind of like a low hit point kind of throwaway vehicle um you've got a hyena class bomber which i have not tested or seen gameplay from i'm interested to see that there's the b2 super battle droid which is more tanky with wrist rockets then there's the did rocket that. droid which did that one as well. yeah this one's less tanky but more mobile and then of course there's darth maul boba fett has the ee3 which is really really cool Cool. I'll see what I can Shoot the civilians! Oh, the droids are now in my way. I'm gonna not... Go with the special. Look at all. They're all like, yeah, we're gonna shoot you. I'm gonna go move my position. I'm really not interested. It's a better high ground. Yep. Or where everyone is. Trying to get some headshots. I've been getting mostly body shots, and it's just not working out. Yeah. Headshot. 
Freeze 09, be a hero, please. Yeah. Okay, we're good on it. <laughs> we're gonna try. Should, should you even just like switch to like assault to try and earn battle points to try and get drones? Yeah. Um, or do you want to stick specialist? I mean, we did say like this is a specialist spin sticking stream. to specialist. We're gonna stick to specialist, and I think outside of this, um. That's what happens when you respawn. To hell with it. We're gonna do assault. Assault. Assault is so much better. All right, we are going to try and get a hero. Awol's gonna we'll try and get a hero. He's we'll gonna see. try and get many battle points as fast as he can. Yeah. With the uh, assault battle. We're gonna mix here. it up. Yeah. After that devastating specialist game last game, I just I can't do it. That was yeah. that was demoralizing. <laughs> so bad. All right, here we go. Good money. Yes. Some battle points. Oh, Get look at that. Get like, Get good salt is so much better for me. <laughs> Immediately, 600 battle Immediately. points. Just the second I hop into the game, doing a million times better. I was asking, can you get the EE3? That's a class gun. Um, I don't know. All right, here we go. Target acquired. That's a good question. I imagine it's the EE3 is a class gun. I don't know. I I actually saw some debate about this, and I'm not sure if that's possible. Um, so let's see. All right, 1,200 points on my first life. So, yes, Assault is so much better for me. On the way. On the way. Hero finale. Yes. Whoa, nice hold, let's, let's not hype it. Hero finale. Getting 5,000 points is something that I will work on. We'll have to go through multiple phases here. Listen, you're not going to get there if you have this attitude that's only half-ass. All right. Let's sure. take these guys out. Oh, what? I I don't know. Like he just ran in and like used some kind of running magic, aka dodging. Look at dude. Look at this guy. What is he? He's just melee, melee. <laughs> Flailing around. Oh god, I'm way out of position. Probably gonna die. Oh god. Yep. All right, we're up to fifteen hundred. We're gonna get to five thousand. 5,000. Let's do it. Let's go. Punching people is melee. Melee is so ridiculous looking. It's I, oh god, they just threw a grenade. Um, <laughs> throwing grenades is ridiculous. Dogs, dogs, dogs. Best you're super invested like, in me getting a hero. Like, immediately, I'm quiet. What is going on? What's what's happening? What I can do? Alert! Republic attack damaging the MTT. Gotta be somebody. I think there's probably there's a specialist across the way. I want to. And the end. Is that your Hanzo thing that's on cooldown right now? Yeah, my Hanzo thing, my Sonic Era. That's pretty much what it is. Not even. Not even. Not even. Really, really don't want to change combat scenario with a spec. Hi there. Too brief. Hit. Half has two things. Four hours of playing. Arms wants it. Right, we need scan. I'm gonna go down to low ground here. Hi there. And the shotgun. Woo! So I need to get in closer. That was a jet trooper. The positioning was good, but you know when somebody can jet above your head and shoot you. 
it might be a little bit difficult. That's one thing to keep in mind with uh, Jet Trooper or Rocket Trooper or whatever. You can fly above people's heads. You can use your primary weapon and you can get headshot. That's totally a thing. Like, what I like about the assault is you can go 1v1 with people and win. Yeah. On almost any scenario. Certainly a mid, mid to long range scenario. Yeah. So arrow. Oh wow, there's a standing target. Let's see if I can go into I can pick up some battle points. MTT has reached Get up there. Don't tell the dubs. You know what the dubs do though? They do reveal when somebody's area. You know that there's yeah, enemy cool. movement. I didn't really think about that part of it. Um, but that totally works. Sure. There's just a little bit too many. <laughs> this is like, look at him, man. Like, They're all in my face. There's like 27 too many doves. Any given block of doves. But they're the symbol of peaks. Battlefront 2. Comes a tank. Right, I'm gonna follow up and start playing. Hi there, buddy. Wipe out the clown. I just want there to be like Gungan running out. You just get like caught in the crossfire and Gungan. Like they just oh. run in the middle of the street. Oh, Misa so cool. <laughs> Increase protective measures. That. All right, we're gonna keep going. Keep trying to get, we're halfway there, got? right? What do you got? We're so 2200 right now. It's not that great. Got a lot to go. <laughs> got a lot of battle points to go here. Getting a hero, not as easy as advertised. Look a leaf on the ground. Shoot it. Oh. Happening. It's bad, it's bad. Bad jokes, man. Now you guys know why this tree, like tree puns. Those are pretty. I mean, but those are like the basic, like a tree. Stuff. That's like trees aren't funny, and like any jokes related to trees, so not funny. <laughs> oh, hi guys. Yep. I'm not sure what the root of the problem here. is. Would that I could make them better? Would. Oh. So fast. He was so fast I couldn't shoot him. I should have just used my regular rifle. I would have killed him. Is this a different... A different game isn't IGN? A different game this isn't IGN. Yeah, it's true. It's not. Gungan Massacre DLC? Ha <laughs> ha! I would pay a lot for that. <laughs> Jungin Massacre DLC. <laughs> that was probably the best comment of all of our stream. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your good work. Yep. <laughs> you just take like all of the things you eat about like from the Star Wars franchise and put it in like <laughs> The new massacre DLC <laughs> featuring Jar Jar Binks getting shot in the face. <laughs> the so kid old. that played Anakin getting shot in the face. <laughs> My pod racer is gonna be the best. You're dead. <laughs> We're gonna spend 45 minutes getting off of this blasted planet that these Jedi can't come up with a better solution for. We're Jedi's. Let's put a kid in a, into a pod and gamble our way off of this planet. That sounds like a great Jedi plan. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Sounds like we should make a whole movie about that. How do you get this game? That's what Undertale the Pirates is asking. Um, I mean, yeah, you can. Money. You can do, they have physical retailers if you want to do a disc for console or whatever. I think you might even be able to do a disc for PC, I don't know. 
But on PC, it's Origin. On PS4 and Xbox, you can do digital purchase as well as like basically retailer. Pretty much it. And at this point, if you if you order the game, you will get early access to launch, but you will not get early access to beta. That ship has sailed. He's just saying, what heroes can you be? Yes, Darth Maul, Boba Fett. Nobody else on this side. There's nobody else available. Right now, just all you can be is them. Boba Fett and Darth Maul. Um, so on the other side, it's Han Solo and, and Rey. Rey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, Pod that's, racing that's DLC. It, right? Yeah. You're running out of ideas. They said in all caps. We know this is this is beta. Yes. We know we're running it's, out of ideas. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Early access beta. Uh, get the battle points. How are you doing for battle? Oh my god, that's the bounciest <laughs> grenade ever. What the heck? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was great. I'm like doing a battle points. I'm at like 3,500. Oh, fuck, right. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Oh, you. I'm not gonna go over there. Getting shot by Ray and dying a lot doesn't sound like I'm getting sabered by her. Yeah. I was gonna say, does like, she have a blaster? She's got a blaster. That'd be awesome. Just like She's got the, blaster the one that Han Solo and... gave her. Yeah. Blaster and a lightsaber. Get like cad paint. You know, a lot of people have been requesting Cad Bane. He, he's too, he's too niche, basically. Like, have you watched Clone Wars? You'll love Cad Bane, don't you? Um, if you haven't watched Clone Wars, then you probably don't even know who he is. But he's still, like, he's still a cool character, right? Like, God, we're so like, close! As a character? Yeah. Right? He's really cool. Like he's super cool. He's probably it's like we did. We did a video actually, like a while back. On no ah no what forty six hundred battle points. We were defeated. Didn't get to five thousand to get the hero. You know what? There's gonna be a lot more Battlefront to come on the channel. Clearly, assault class is the only one I am reasonably competent with, so I'm going to be focusing on that in uh, most gameplays moving forward. But I think we're planning on doing a lot of videos around heroes if we can uh, get gameplay from that. Yep. Um, like fastest way to get Darth Maul, fastest way to get different characters. And I, we want to know from you guys, what Star Wars Battlefront 2 content would you want to see? Um, we've got three live streams tomorrow, so we still need to finish checking out the rest of the game before we can kind of see how we feel about the game. Yeah. Anyway. It was fun today, man. Four live streams. That was that was pretty solid. Pretty Th good. Thanks everyone for joining us here. Yeah. Everybody who contributed in chat, thank you so much. Uh, remember, tune in tomorrow. Yep. Come back for all those uh, Starfighter. That's right. 11 a.m. Pacific time is when we're starting tomorrow, and you'll see up at the top of the channel upcoming live streams. It'll all be there. Three live streams, one for each class. And uh, I hope to see every single one of you there. We're going to open this crate before you end the stream. Broken okay. in the crate. Okay. Specialist starter crate. Like, now that you've played a bit, here's the things you actually need. Scrambler. Sweet. There's the A2. Yes! That's the burst. That's the burst rifle. That's the three-shot burst. That was exactly what I wanted. And there's the MPV sl MVP Select 3. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We really appreciate you guys participating in this live stream experiment with us. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. See ya.